was absolutely freezing down at the beach today, guys, but I am back home now, 8.30 a.m., ready to get stuck into what is gonna be a very big day. Death pile demolition. Unfortunately, guys, the day has come. I can finally say that I have a death pile. It's not something that I wanted, but it is something that I'm gonna to have to deal with now. So in today's video, we're gonna go through some tips on how to eliminate a death pile. Plus, I'm gonna set up a 30-day challenge as well that I'd like you guys to be a part of. So stick around for all of that information, but it is a Tuesday vlog. And the first thing that we like to do is grab the overnight sales. So let's get into it. Guess which one sold overnight? Yeah, the Mighty Boosh. We had the full the Mighty Boosh Special Edition DVD. It's sold, $59.99, an unbelievable sale, guys. I picked this thing up for two bucks in the thrift and be able to go and get ourselves a $50 profit on this one was amazing. Did sit around for a little bit, but I'm glad I hung out for top dollar, $59.99. Not a bad result on the DVDs, guys. There are plenty more to try and sell. Have a look at this, guys. This is a Pepe Jeans Red Bull racing jacket that I picked up at a car boot sale for $7.50. I thought I'd get a whole lot more than I did for it, though. Fully embroidered. Have a look at the back print there. Um, this one only sold for $46.95, and I had this one up initially for $60, bucks, but it sat around for a few months, and in the end, I took a best offer at $47. So I've only profited $25 bucks on this one, but I still thought that was just an unbelievable buy at a car boot sale. Nothing too crazy with this one, guys. It's a Ralph Lauren long sleeve button up shirt. Uh, sold for twenty five dollars. I bought it for five bucks. I'm only profiting about twelve dollars. A very very long sell through rate to get these ones done. So I have actually stopped buying them. Um, so I'm really happy when I'm clearing them out, and I'm, I am just slowly dropping the price from thirty bucks down to twenty five dollars. And I am starting to see some sales come through. So once they're all gone, they're gone. I won't be buying any more. It just takes too long to get rid of them. So this was a really good one, guys. A pair of specialized cycling shorts. Now, this was a big guy, a 3XL. It's got a $75 price tag on it, brand new. And uh, I've ended up selling it in the space of three weeks for $55. I got the full asking price. There's some real money to be made in anything cycling. If you can find the cycling jerseys, the cycling shorts, um, shoes are a really good category in the, in the cycling gear, um, you'll go on to do well. So guys, really happy with that one. 55 bucks, a pretty quick turnaround. And it wouldn't be a sales day without a pair of running shoes selling, guys. These are the ASICS GT2150 women's running shoes, US size 11. They cleaned up very, very well, and the soles are in excellent condition as well. So uh, no surprise, these ones sold for $47. Only paid $5 for them in the thrift. So I've made myself a really close to $30 profit on these. I think it was about $28 or $29. So a great little turnaround, sold in a pretty quick space of time. Almost my favorite running shoe brand to sell. So there you have it, guys. It was a $270 day on eBay yesterday. Uh, really nice, obviously, get that Red Bull jacket done. But there are a couple of items here that were from yesterday's post that I'm yet to go and do. So I'm actually going to do this today. I don't normally go to the post on a uh, Tuesday, but I've still got these items that are yet to be shipped. So a um, pair of Nike shoes there went yesterday as well. So quite a number of items. I'm going to do the post now, but from yesterday, I made about $130 worth of profit. So the reason why I didn't do the post in its entirety yesterday was because I ran out of satchels. Now, I buy my satchels at Australia Post, um, bundles of 100 prepaid satchels. It cost me $15, so 15 cents a satchel, uh, which I don't think is too bad. I saved $10 when I buy in bulk. Um, so I bought 100 of these, a very, very low cost, I feel, to get my hands on satchels straight away. And uh, yeah, I, um, I've now got them, so I'd better go ahead and do my post. Guys, things are going really well with my eBay store at the moment. I, I really just can't complain with where things are at. I'm, I'm only listing 10 items a day and I'm averaging eight sales a day over the last couple of months. I've, I've never had a day without a sale and I'm always getting up upwards of sort of eight to 10 a day. And I'm only listing 10 items a day as well. So I think the reason why I wanted to talk about this in this episode today is that for the first, first six months, if you're a beginner reseller out there, those first six months are crucial to be putting in as many listings as you possibly can to your eBay store because that really does help generate consistent sales. Just having a full store with a lot of different items meticulously put in over the course of a few months pays off in the long run. I've actually pulled back and I'm not buying as many items now on a weekly basis. I'm not spending as much money 
I'm not listing as many items and yet I'm still getting the same amount of sales as I was getting when I had sort of 15 to 20 listings a day. So I've really kind of enjoyed the fact that I can pull back to just do 10 a day and still get the same form of revenue coming in. And I, that's due to the fact that I've now got a 1,000 item eBay store. So work hard initially in those first few months. That's that's 100% a big tip that I've, I've come to realize. And I'm so fortunate that I was in the position where I was able to sort of triple down and put as many items in over a six month period as I could. Um, you know, we're in July now. I, I started eBay really seriously in November. So that's only been about eight months. And that's why over the last two months, I'm, I'm now in a position where I can actually kind of do, not do as much from a listing sense and still generate those consistent sales. So I'm just gonna to continue to keep my store around that thousand item mark and um, fingers crossed the, the $300 a day mark can continue to happen. But I'm at the post now and I really wanna get these items out so I'll be up to, up to date because I didn't like that on uh, Monday, not getting all my posts done. It's not something that I normally do, but uh, like I said, I ran out of satchels. So we're here at the post office now. I'm just gonna try and find a park and uh, we'll get this job ticked off. is in session. I wanted to have a chat about how to eliminate your death pile and there's a few steps that I've got. The first one is confront the beast. And what I mean by that is just being visual with what you've got to get done. I bring all of the stuff that I need to list into my working environment. My listing table's right here. I don't go and hide it in storage. I don't go and put it by the wayside somewhere where I'm just simply going to forget about it and not think about it. I keep it in front of me. I know that I've got to get it done if I stare at it every single day. And the last thing I want to do is clutter up my office space with a bunch of stuff that I know I need to get done. So best way to tackle it, confront the beast keep your items with you and look at it until it's done every single day. Step number two is to give yourself time and set goals. So it's gonna be a pretty daunting task to do a death pile. You've often got a what in that. That's why it's called a death pile. Best way to do it is to break it up and give yourself some time to get the job done. Don't think you need to get it done in a day or a week. Give yourself a month to get the job done. Count out how many inventory items you have and then divide that by the 30 day period over the month to work out how many you'd have to do on a daily basis. If you've got 300, that's only 10 listings a day for a month and you've eliminated your death pile. So it's a really great way to look at it, break it down, give yourself some time and just focus on getting that job done on a daily basis. Step number three, don't thrift. It's gonna be one of the hardest things that you're gonna do over this period of time, but it is the most important part. And I don't mean it from a pure inventory sense of buying more items is counterintuitive to what you're trying to do. I also mean it from a time perspective. It takes so long to go out, find the right item, purchase the item, come back, put it into your spreadsheet. All of that time is being taken up where it otherwise could have been you sitting down listing your death pile. So. Big, big tip there, number three, do not go out and thrift, hold yourself off. But if you feel the need, if you have to go out and thrift, make it a 50 or a $100 item that you purchase and nothing else. If it's anything less, if it's small fry items, leave them behind, get your thrift fix and only buy the big ones. Step number four, commit and execute. Guys, eBay truly does come down to the individual seller. How hard you work will depend on how successful you are with the platform. So if you're gonna set up this game plan, if you're not gonna go out and thrift, commit yourself, commit yourself to this time period that it's gonna be. If it's 300 items and it's gonna be 10 items a day for those 30 days, commit to that, actually go ahead and do it. Not only will you eliminate that death pile you've been looking at for so long, but you will also generate sales. It's a great way to boost your sales on eBay, but it does all come down to you. You've gotta have that mindset, that willpower to keep pushing through, to give up the fun stuff of thrifting each day and to just get this one done. You'll have a heap of money left over once you've sold all your items and then you can go out and thrift like crazy. So that would be my tip number four, guys. Four tips to success. And I've got my death pole here 
I'm gonna be working on every single one of these. I'm gonna draw up right now a little calendar, which is gonna be my 30 day plan to get rid of 450 DVDs. And we're gonna work through it together. Next week, Tuesday vlog, we're gonna check back in. I want you guys to start your death pole demolition today, tomorrow, sometime soon, at least before next Tuesday's vlog. And we're gonna work on chipping off every single one of our 30 day plans. So I'll quickly draw this up and I'll show you how my one looks in a second. Just like having the visualization of your death pole in your room with you, I also think it's really important to visualize the way it's gonna go about getting done as well. So I've got this little calendar now created. I'm gonna do 15 every single day for a 30 day period. And that's gonna get us 450 listings done, which is exactly what is sitting in my death pole. So it's gonna sit with me for the next month. We're gonna work on this together, guys. I encourage you to set up something like this yourself and work away on it every single day. Let's get it done and make a heap of sales on eBay. Oh, I am very much looking forward to getting into this challenge, guys. Uh, I actually just worked out that in 30 days, it will also be my birthday. So all the more reason to absolutely smash this challenge. And look, I know a lot of you guys out there aren't eligible for this sort of thing as well. It'd be awesome if you could join me for the next 30 days. I'll document it every single week on the Tuesday vlog. But it'd be cool if you guys were chipping away at your own death pole too. If you are up for the challenge, let me know in the comments below. And also jump onto Instagram and put up a photo of your calendar and use the hashtag death pole demolition. I'd be awesome to get a little community started with this one and hopefully we can be making a heap of sales together. Um, thank you very much, guys. I'm all done for the day. I need to go and edit this video and then list these 15 items to get this one underway. We'll see you in the next vid. Thanks, guys. Yeah.